In our everyday lives, we're running from one thing to the next thing, and I'm always, I've got the to-do list, the to-do list which, of things I forgot to do, which I should have done yesterday. Um, and I think that the opportunity to step back and kind of think, okay, what am I doing? What do I want to work on? What do I want to learn? Um, the, just having a little bit of white space in your life to actually reflect and connect with other people who are on the same journey um, is such an amazing luxury, really. But it's so important for feeling understood and also the opportunity to learn and grow. And I think particularly if you're doing creative work, which by the way, being a professional and raising kids, and that's a very creative challenge, right? Um, we kind of need those spaces, and I think that these days we actually just instinctively fill them with distraction. My, my daughter, um, I was stripping the sheets to wash them last week, and I found hidden in the bedding a little agenda that she had made for herself. She's nine. And the agenda had started with 9-11 bedtime. And it was an agenda for what she was doing after bedtime. So it included things like, you know, think about Minecraft, that had half an hour. Um, and then it had a break. And then it had half an hour allocated from, from 10 to 10.30 p.m. that said, do whatever. And after that, then that was right after the break. And then it was, you know, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. iPad time. I don't think she ever makes it. I check on her 30 minutes later, she's out. However, I asked her, so what does it mean to do whatever? And she said, you know, think. And I said, what kinds of things do you think? And she says, mm, thinky thoughts. You know, and she has that space in her life in a way that we don't give ourselves space for doing whatever or thinky thoughts.